So this is a demonstration of the new Numchart custom PCB um, that uh, was developed by Veta, um, optimized me, by me and then optimized again by Veta. Um, this is the PCB um, basically with a Wii Numchart joystick, um, the button pad, any type of charging port. Um, if you have USB then obviously you can upgrade the firmware as well. Um, inside of the case okay got the nunchuck inside of the case here so you can see it really simple it's pcb same size as the normal um we nunchuck um a couple of t tolerance issues inside of the case but uh we can uh, work through those kinks just changing the pcb size a little this is the completed one inside of the case if we decide to plug this in to charge it, get the USB right here, plug it into the bottom, there we go, so I've plugged that in, very faint, but you can see a blue LED light there for charging when we unplug it there's no led on anymore so now what we're going to do we've got bldc tool set up right here we're going to turn on the vest connected to the inertia space cell um, so we're going to press the on button we've got our lights on the vest right here we've got the um, just a standard NRF 24LO1 receiver um, works really well um, I've hooked it up just with some um, breakout pins um, connected to a JH um, JST sorry PH connector just need the 6 pin one to go into the new 4.8 uh, and 4.10 VESC once it's hooked up um, what we do is we're going to press the Z button and you can see that red light's turned on. Now, that means that it's operational. Um, on BLDC tool, um, I'm just going to connect the VESC at the moment. Okay, that's connected. Now, read. We've got the remote disabled at the moment, so I can give it throttle. You can see it moving in BLDC tool. And now, if we change that, go current with reverse and right. Now, I can use my remote. Um, and power up motor, as you can see, it's still going up. But We've got the Inertion Twin Belt Drive System here. Um, got the remote, so I can set it. Braking. Now if I press the C button, as I'm accelerating, hold it, that's cruise control. I can pull it back to reduce the speed. And it will slowly do that, and it stay at that speed. Or I can push it up to accelerate. If I let go, and then press it again, it'll continue at that speed that it's going. One other thing that I can do is accelerate, press the Z button, and it will change direction, which is a cool feature to have. The other thing, uh, one last thing that I can do, if I spin the motor, then I get my cruise straight off of that. So if I'm rolling, down a hill or on a flat, I can do my cruise just by the uh, speed that I pick up and then it will continue at that speed, which is really cool. Um, if I try to brake, it will pick up speed. If I try to go faster down a hill, it will brake. Thanks for watching.